Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Brennan Ward, and I'm going to be talking about gravity stratified mixed convection in liquid metal pools. I did this research while I was at Kansas State, and have since graduated and am working at GE GNF in the methods team under Core and Fuels. Before all this, I was a design engineer at Fort Calhoun. Fort Calhoun was the smallest PWR in the United States. I say was because they shut down at the end of 2016, and I had to make the decision to double down on nuclear because I believe, and still do, that it is essential going forward. I was able to connect with my graduate advisor, Hitesh Bendra, who had just won an NEUP award for this project. He said, uh, we have this experimental project, we'll be using these advanced sensors, and you'll be able to really play around with liquid metal. Okay. <laughs> I was able to work through the entire project, from the scaling of the vessel, the design, construction, and use, and of course, the playing. At least he wasn't kidding on the sensors. These were very rewarding to work with. The lessimetry in the opaque liquid gallium that was used as a surrogate fluid required ultrasonic Doppler velocimetry and temperature distribution using fiber optics. These produce the raw signal that you see on the left. The velocity is the color contour and isotherms are in black, seen in space and in time as the colder gallium is injected into the bottom, representing something like a protected loss of flow where core power shuts down, cooling the fluid entering into the upper plenum. It is also accompanied by lower flows that are more prone to stratifying. We can see the push and the pull that buoyancy is playing on the front progression, again in space and time because these sensors can capture the entire axial field. This is extremely important in the estimation of the turbulence quantities that we see in the middle. Using velocity, temperature, their co-correlation, and their gradients, we can construct important parameters. The first, on top, is the turbulent Prandtl number, whose behavior is unique in liquid metal flows. You'll often see a default value in computational simulations, a constant of 0.85. This works well for air and water, but uh, with the strong thermal diffusivity in the liquid metal, it throws this out the window. The second parameter I've shown here is the eddy thermal diffusivity, which behaves as a complex function of the local inertial, buoyant, and viscous terms. The data captured by the sensors can be directly compared to the empirical quantities, like those shown in the black dashed line up top or the gray band below. These empirical functions had previously been unverified for this application in liquid metal and large volumes. This part is important because the safety evaluations of these reactors going forward, such as the lead-cooled MIRA or the sodium-cooled BTR or Natrium projects, will be largely reliant on 1D codes for their analyses. What I've shown here in my research is two things. First, the threshold for when the stratification front will begin to bubble and start de-stratifying is different for liquid metal than it is for other coolants. And two, while it's doing all this bubbling around underneath the front, there's this enhanced mixing that's happening that needs to be quantified to properly address front dynamics. This plays into things such as reactivity, uh, which is dependent on solid structures that can expand or contract depending on the upper plenum's temperature distribution. That bubbling near those solid structures means rapid swings in temperature and accelerated thermal fatigue, and probably most importantly, natural circulation dynamics, which these reactors rely on for emergency core cooling, is directly impacted by the front's progression. In this research, liquid metal's uniquely high thermal diffusivity in stably stratified turbulence was explored and understood through specialized advanced sensors, allowing a deeper fundamental understanding and validating empirical models for use in these safety evaluations. That's all I have time for. Thank you again for tuning in.